Cleared Fence or Solid Security. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what the difference is and which one you should install on your WordPress website. The first time setup wizard is pretty similar with both plugins. However, what I don't like about WordFence is that they're really pushing to get their WordFence license. This means even for the free version, you need to sign up, give them your email address so they can Yes, send your emails, yes or no, but they still have your email address inside of their pocket and it's actually connected to your website. So they already make the connection between your email address and your website. I don't know why this is. Then let's talk about the user interface. I know it's personal preference, but it's quite interesting. As I like clean dashboards, clean desk, I have a very clean car, I also like clean WordPress dashboards. If I go to my dashboard when installing WordFence, you can see over here a big WordFence logo and then all these things. I think this can be a little bit more subtle and I just don't like this whole idea. I constantly get these notifications, these yellow boxes upgrade to premium and really uh, this dashboard is really not that clean because on my dashboard I just can't see immediately what I need to see. If you run the free version of Solid Security, you don't even have a dashboard feature. But with Solid Security Pro, you have your own dashboard widget in here, which you can actually fine tune and change however you want to have it. It is way more cleaner and way more easier to see. Also on the free version of Solid Security, you have your dashboard, which is pretty clean and you can also customize it the way you want. You can press edit dashboard cards, and you can change your dashboard like this to actually make it as clean or as busy or just change it all around the way you like to have it. You can also switch this one and that's just something which is really great with the free version of Solid Security. This might not be a showstopper for you, but I really like the clean dashboard of Solid Security. But that's all user interface, let's talk about the features. First one is of course the malware scanner. WordFence has been the malware scanner expert for the last decade, I think. And it works pretty well. If I need to clean a hacked website, I always press on this blue button, start a new scan, and then it just starts scanning. You can configure a lot about the scanner, but there's one thing I don't like. If I, for example, click on somewhere else on my desktop computer, this is what you see, status updates passed. It might indicate that the entire scan is being passed, but that's not the case actually, only the updates are passed. So if we click again on this screen and start to update it again. I don't know why it is, this is some silly thing. This passing of life updates has been going on as long as I know WordFence. I'm not a fan of it, but it might be caused the performance issue I'm talking about in just a minute. Now, the malware scanner of WordFence is actually perfect. There is no problem with it. But if you have the free version, you might know that the WordFence firewall rules and signatures of the newest malware versions are delayed with 30 days in the free version of WordFence. Now that's not the case with Solid Security. Because since a couple of months also Solid Security added the side scan, which makes for me Solid Security the perfect option and I don't need WordFence anymore. In the past Solid Security, or also known as iTheme Security, never had a side scanner on board. Not anymore, they have fixed this with the free version. You also get a real good side scanner on your website with no delaying in malware and it works actually faster and efficienter in my sense than the WordFence scanner. Because when we go now, it just scans our website really fast. There we are, we're already done. If you also want to scan, of course, the inactive users and the rogue installs, we need to have the premium version of solid security. But of course, they have to need some, some upgrading possibilities. I really like this interface. It's really clean. It scans all the plugins, the themes, the core, but also Google Safe Browsing and your passwords of your own user. So both side scans works pretty well. Then let's go to the firewall option. The WordFence plugins, of course, has a firewall. That's the whole point of a security plugin, right? It works pretty good. And if you go to all options in here, we have all kinds of firewall options uh, also within the WordFence security plugin. These works absolutely great. You can brute force protect them uh, and for strong password. The rate limiting is, of course, there. Um, so that's just pretty good. 
Also, Solid Security has a good firewall which works perfectly out of the box. But there's one thing different, they also have rules. You can add rules within the Solid Security free version. So if something happens like a request method equals uh, or does not contain a value, then you can take an action to block or redirect it. It's a advanced feature that's not available in the WordFence free version. So I really like this. It's just a little bit more. They also have IP management and you can configure uh, of course, everything about the firewall to ban users, local brute force, it's all in there. So both plugins are excellent, but Solid Security just has a little bit more features in here for free. Then of course, two-factor authentication works great in the free version of WordFence. You can just set this thing up, scan this code or download recovery codes, uh, just entering the codes from your authenticator app and you're good to go with using a, a third-party authenticator app. If you go to the settings, you can make it optional or required for different kind of user roles inside of WordPress. WordFriends does a really good job at this. With Solid Security, you also have a two-factor authentication. Just enable that one and then you can choose different kind of methods available in a free version, a mobile app, just an email or a backup authentication code, just the same as with WordFence. However, I'm a big fan of these little guys. If you have a security key, you actually need to upgrade to Solid Security Pro. And then you can just go to your user profile and go to pass keys and just manage your different kind of pass keys that you have, but it's only on the pro version. On the WordFence plugin, I have never seen a way to use my security keys within my WordPress website. I don't know if I didn't look correctly or it's just not in there. If you know, drop it down in the comments. For as I know in the premium version or the free version, there's no such thing. I think that's very strange. So if you do want to upgrade to the pro versions, then there's a very big difference in prices. All these plans of WordFriends are just for one website. They make this very clear on their own website. Each installation of the WordFence plugin requires a unique WordPress license key. So let's say I have five websites to secure. There are web shops, there are my personal blogs, there are my portfolio business websites. That is five times $190 is $600 each single year for my five websites. But what if I have 40 websites? 40 websites, that's a lot of money. So the Solid Security Pro version is just $100 each year for one license. But if I now go to my five websites, I only pay $200 a year. That saves me $400 with WordFence. That's insane. Let's say I have 40 websites and I just need a license of 50 websites. Now that's a very big difference in price. $500 a year or $4,760 a year. These differences are so big. I don't know what's going on here, guys. I think WordFence is really pricing itself out of the market. And I think WordFence could ask that lot of money because they were the only one which had a good malware scanner. However, Solid Security has in the last couple of months added their security scanner, which works flawlessly. And I think Solid Security even have more in the pro version. Because in the premium version of Solid Security, you also get the patch tech integration. Now this is something really nice. Because what Patch Tech does, they release a virtual patch immediately vulnerability of a plugin has been discovered. This way, when added into Solid Security, if there is a vulnerability, immediately a patch will be deployed on your website. So it then seems that there is no vulnerability at all on your WordPress website. That makes it really safe. Now, WordFence doesn't have patch tech integration at all. What they do have, however, in the premium version is country blocking and block over 40,000 malicious IPs with their dynamically updated IP block list. However, that block list is also within solid security. If you just enable the default ban list, uh, include the hackrepair.com ban list developed by Jim Walker. That would also do something like the same. I have used this for many years and 
I actually never got hacked. Another difference is that WordFence does not offer an option to hide the WP admin login page. As they keep saying for years and years and years now, 2017, that it's not actually securing your WordPress website. That is true. It does not help securing your WordPress website, but it does make it harder for those easy script kiddies to start trying brute forcing your WordPress website as the login page is just somewhere else they cannot find automatically. And with solid security, that has always been an option inside of it. So you can just change the IT backend and comes a really good login URL you completely create yourself. And then you can add them in over there and change all the slugs. And this feature only may not secure your website, but it actually does help a little bit. And I like every little things help a little bit. And word on the street is also that WordFence really slows down your WordPress website. I get a feeling that it slows down my website, but I cannot justify it with numbers. And numbers don't lie, so it stays with this feeling. However, I have never had this problem with solid security as I think the interface is really fast, scanning goes really well, and I never had that feeling with solid security of sluggishness and slowing down my WordPress website. So I cannot justify it with numbers, but it's just a feeling I have. The most important question to ask is, did I ever encounter websites being hacked with the WordFence security plugin or the solid security plugin activated on these sites? The answer is yes and no. As I have my own unhack service running on my website, which has been frequently used, I do encounter a lot of websites which are running WordFence and still getting hacked. And I think it has to do with not setting up WordFence really well or just keep plugins, themes, and WordPress itself outdated or leaking your password somewhere on the dark web. I don't know, but I have encountered WordPress installations completely demolished and hacked while WordFence was running on them. On the other hand, I have never had any clients come to me with their websites completely hacked while they were running solid security on it. I don't know if there's a correlation, I'm just stating the facts that I have cleaned a lot of websites in the past few years. So for whatever that's worth, I think that solid security does somewhere a better job in securing your entire WordPress website. So the conclusion of this video is yes, solid security is in my opinion better than WordFence. It has more features, it has a way cleaner, nicer interface, and if you ever ever want to consider upgrading to a pro plan, then WordFence is way too expensive if you have multiple websites in comparison to Solid Security Pro. Also on Solid Security Pro, the patch tag integration, whew, it just blows my mind. It's the perfect WordPress security on your website. So yeah, Solid Security is the best choice. Now, if you need help with setting up the free version or the pro version, just go into these videos and I guide you step by step to really thoroughly secure your WordPress website so you won't ever get hacked.